What's up, YouTube family? Lou here from Godlike Collectibles with another video. Um, today, I just wanted to share with you some cool stuff that I found um, from when I used to collect before uh, when I was younger and probably when I tried to pick it up again in the early 2000s. Um, I didn't even realize that I had some of these cards until I found them. And um, I just wanted to share some of them with you. You know, nothing crazy at all. You know what I mean? They're, these are just regular cards that, but you could tell when I was growing up, I thought they were like hot cards. <laughs> but um, show you, uh, I got these Mark McGuire's, uh, Future Heroes, Mark McGuire. Then, um, this is, I think this is from 1993. So in 93, I was probably about 15 years old, maybe. So I was still collecting back then. This is a 1990 Upper Deck uh, Maguire. Pretty cool. Big Mac. <laughs> and let me see. Got two catchers here. One of my favorite catchers of all time. Ivan Rodriguez. Pudge. This is the 91. Is it 91 Leaf or 92? 92 Leaf. Yeah. 92 Leaf. Pretty cool. Yeah, I remember when I used to collect as a kid. Buying packs. With my buddies. And uh, it used to be fun, man. Just ripping open packs. Here's a, a 92. Right? Is this a 92? No, no, 94. I'm sorry. 94 tops. Uh, tops All-Star Rookie Cup. Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer. One of the greatest hitting catchers, that's for sure. pretty cool card there. I used to love opening up packs when I was a kid. It was so much fun, you know. Now, you know, I don't like opening up packs now because <laughs> packs are way too expensive now, man. Uh, here's a Mariano Rivera, Skybox Thunder. This one's a cool one. I think this is a 98, no, 99, 99. Another Hall of Famer here. And as a Yankee fan, you know, love that. Then I got a couple of Derek Jeters. Upper Deck MVP, Derek Jeter. In the back. This is 2000. Here's another one. Uh, 1999 World Series. This is Tops. Also 2000, cool card. Then I got this upper deck collector's choice, Derek Jeter, the captain. Let me see what year this is. I'm sorry, my eyes are bad. I think this is a 98. Very cool looking card though. And this one is really cool. Fleer Tradition, this day in history, this is Fleer 20, 2002. And this one's kind of cool because it's like uh, it's got like that that little 3D look on the cloud, uh, the, cl the balls there. It, it just looks like, yeah, let's see if you can see it a little bit. Yeah, it's like raised up. So this one is actually pretty cool. I like that one. Then I got this cool Ozzy Smith then and now. This one is really cool. You can see the hologram in there. Very nice. So, this is a 92 upper deck. So, this one's actually really cool. I like this. The wizard. Okay. Then, I got Legends of the Game. This is a Fleer 98. 
Ernie Banks. My dad used to tell me a lot about Ernie Banks and especially a lot of the Negro League players like Satchel Paige and Robinson and all that. My dad used to school me on that when I was younger. I never forget he brought home a book from his job where it was all Negro League pl players like in the book and it was like talking about the history of Negro Leagues and um they had all these players Josh Gibson and um Roy Campanella you know my dad was always telling me how good Roy Campanella was and you know it, it was pretty cool like the experience the bonding time I have with him when we talk about baseball even to this day my dad is 76 and we still talk about baseball. We talk about the games going on right now, you know, and um, it's pretty it's pretty cool to to have that. Uh, Legend of the game, Kirby Puckett, another guy whose career was cut way too short. He, he was awesome player. He got got to see him play. Didn't get to see Ernie Banks play, but I got to see him play. <laughs> another two guys I got to see play. The Bash Brothers, <laughs> 87. So you can see who was hot during my era of collecting. You know, all the roided guys. <laughs> but these guys were beasts, man, back in the day. You know, I remember watching the 89 World Series, the 90 World Series, you know. So, but these 87 uh, tops were... One of my favorites growing up. I remember ripping a lot of those packs. Uh, here's another Maguire. This one, uh, 2001. So you can see I, I still kind of collected a little bit back then, 2001. And then I took a big hiatus from collecting. You know, I got married and kids and you know how that goes. It starts to... Uh, Affect the way you collect, I guess. All right, so here's... Oh, I got another one here. Okay. I got some Griffies. He goes, uh, Griffy, I think this is a 93 upper deck. Yeah. Griffy, one of my favorite players growing up. You know, he was the man. I still think he's probably top three center fielders of all time. You know, up there with Willie Mays. You know, it's just awesome. 10 gold gloves. He, he was a beast. You know, score 91. All right. Then we got the big hurt, Frank Thomas. This one, Pacific. I don't even remember wh when I got this, but this is a 90-something. I can't even see it. I'm sorry, my eyes are bad, but... We got Frank Thomas, and we got another one. This was nice. The Big Hurt triple play. You see the, the hollow on the top there. Nice card. Triple play series. I remember when they came out. At that time, the market was so saturated with different people. Uh, Sammy Sosa, you know, back then, him and McGuire were killing it. Let me see what they're. This wasn't, he hadn't done the home runs yet, the 60 homers yet with Big Mac. Another monster in the game, Barry Bonds. When I was growing up, he was the man too. You know, back when he was with the Pirates, they came over here. This is a nice card, actually. You know, very cool card. Top stars. Very cool card. Uh, I got this Ichiro Upper Deck MVP. Uh, 2002, Season to Remember. I think this was his second year right here. I think his first year is when he... Uh, he had like that awesome year. But he was a great player when, as soon as he came in. Oh, here's my man. Roberto Alomar, second base. He was always my guy. When I played Little League, I played with his number, number 12. He was my dude. 
he was my dude when it came to second base. Chipper Jones rookie card, triple play. As you know, he's also a Hall of Famer, and he's he was awesome too with that great Atlanta Braves team, man. They had a squad. They had a squad. Okay, what else I got? I got a Larry Walker, 1991, Topps rookie, uh, the, the cup, trophy cup. Pretty dope. And uh, I have a Tim Salmon, Boys of Summer score. You know, back then he was actually a pretty good ball player when I was growing up. It's a shame because I, I be looking at a lot of uh, like rookie cards. Like I look at Manny Ramirez who came up in the 90s and A-Rod and all these guys, man, that were monsters and their cards are not worth anything. I got a bunch of rookie cards of Manny Ramirez and they're not worth nothing. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I thought it was going to be worth a lot of money. And this was my main man, 50 grand right here, Don Mattingly. And I know a lot of people don't agree. I still believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. He's got very similar numbers to Puckett. I know that Puckett, you know, got the World Series and all that stuff. But Donnie Baseball, man, got nine gold gloves. Nine gold gloves. We can't ignore the defense. Can't ignore the defense. You know what I mean? Not to mention that when he was on his game before he got hurt, he was the man. The man. Probably the best first baseman. All right. So... Here are a couple of vintage cars that I had growing up. I had this Topps Thurman Munson. My dad always told me stories about him. I never really got to see him play because he died in the late 70s, if I'm not mistaken, 79. And I was born in 78. So I didn't get to see him play. But my dad told me a lot of stories about him, how great he was. And I remember when I found this card, I was so like hype to show my dad that I got it, you know, because me and him used to talk about it all the time, you know, being that I grew up as a Yankee fan, and then I got two other guys here, I got Greg Nettles, this is a 1970, yeah, 1970 Greg Nettles, who also was a Yankee at one point, excellent third baseman, I believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. I remember when I found these cards. I forgot what I paid for these. When, back in the day, man, I, I might have paid maybe a couple bucks, two, three dollars. I don't even know. And I got this Tony Oliva. This one's a nice one, too. Love it. Great condition, too. You know what I mean? I, and I've kept them in this since I was a kid, since I was a teenager. I've kept these. So these got to have been in here for, in these hard cases. Man. Definitely over 20 years for sure, because I'm, I'm 45 now, so definitely over 20-something years, because I, I think when I was a teenager, when I got those, these, are, these I love these vintage cards too, they look so great, right, that set, it's a, such a cool set, and then I got this Lou Brock, I remember when Ricky Henderson broke his record, but my dad told me a lot of stories about Lou. Lou Brock. And this one, believe it or not, this one I got not too long ago. I think a couple years ago. My, my cousin actually gave me this because he knew I was collecting cards again. And he had this in his house and he gave it to me. It's very offset, but very cool card. Little Rock Carew, All-Star Cup. Yeah, man, this is a great card. Great card. Not in the greatest shape, and it's off-centered, but still, it's a rock -a Guy was a beast. Then I got this. I remember when I got this, I was super excited when because I, I got this when I was a kid. Uh, this came out. When did this come out? 
If I'm not mistaken, this came out like in the early 90s, 90, 91 maybe, score. And when I got this Mickey Mantle, I thought I hit the jackpot. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm going to be rich. I got a Mickey Mantle card. And I was so quick to show my dad. My dad loved Mickey Mantle. Seems like everybody's dad did, right? And then I just wanted, I left these two for last, even though they're not. Um, they're not vintage, but this is a Fleer 2002 Albert Pujols, and I think this is the last year I started, I was buying cards and packs and stuff like that. On occasion, I would pick some up just to rip, but I think this was like 20 years ago, and I haven't, I, I, I didn't do anything until a couple of years ago that I got back into the hobby. And here's a cool one. I didn't even realize this until I was really looking into it. This card is numbered. This is an Albert Pujols 2001. It's a rookie card. Fleer Focus Prospect Albert Pujols. And this is such an awesome looking card. But it's also numbered to $9.99. And I was checking comps on these. They're actually going for a nice, pretty penny, even raw. You know what I mean? So, I'm not sure if I want to send it to get graded. I'm not sure if I want to sell it to get other cards that I want. But it is an Albert Pujols rookie. It is numbered to $9.99. It's going for about maybe $100 to $150 raw. Graded, maybe a little more depending on the grade. And uh, I'm not sure what to do because I, he's definitely going into the Hall of Fame. So I, I don't know if I should wait because maybe it's going to price will go up. But I think I might just end up keeping it. I might just keep it raw. I don't know if I'm going to send it in to get graded. But maybe I will. I don't know. It's still something I'm, I'm thinking about. But very cool card. I was happy to find this because I didn't even remember I had this. And, you know, I got this over 20 years ago. So pretty dope card. But, yeah, that's pretty much it I wanted to share with you. Um, You know, oh, here's a, a old Ozzy. 1981, I believe. Tops. Yep. This is a nice one. He sets the new assist mark for shortstops. So that's a cool card. But yeah, man. This was a long video. But I just wanted to share some cards with you. Show you what I had. Thought it was pretty cool. You know, I was going down memory lane. <laughs> looking at some of these cards. There's a bunch of other ones. But it's just too many cards to show. But these I had in, in, in hard cases. So I knew that they were important to me back then. So I figured I'd show them to you. So I appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, comment down below. Tell me which card you like the best. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. God bless. Peace.